Let's duck in the Highlander here. I'm going to try to make this quick to the point. So, I got a sparring video of me sparring with one of the gentlemen from the Sunday sparring sessions that I do. He is a lot larger. He's probably 6'3", 6'4", but he hasn't been training for that long. So, sparring is nice and light, but you're going to just see the differences when competing against somebody or sparring with someone who's a lot larger than you. Just differences in sizes. And just when you're doing something and you have different techniques. If you guys like these, please... Get at me at GoFundMe, get at me at Patreon. If that's something that you guys don't want to do, you don't want to just give me money, which is fine, I understand, why don't you guys go to Northspore.com. It's a mushroom um, supplement website. If you guys haven't had the chance yet, look up Paul Stamens. And if you have ever heard of cordycep mushrooms, lion's mane mushrooms, cordyceps, they help increase your oxygen, your stamina, and I could go on and on about that. And lion's mane mushrooms, they help increase neurogenesis. Neurogenesis, if you break that word down, neuro means brain, genesis means like rebirth. So it literally allows your brain to make more brain cells. So that's something that's pretty important, especially if you're getting hit all the time. So I hope you guys like these and give me a like, give me a share, leave a comment, leave me a question and I'll try to answer something down below. Somebody already asked me a question about who has inspired my techniques and my styles and I'll make a video replying to that. Us. Thank you. What's up? So now I'm sparring here with the tall guy. Uh, I forgot his name. He's pretty tall, 6'3ish, 6'2 maybe, um, 6 foot. He does not have that much uh, sparring experience, so we're going fairly light. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Try to get that fadeaway hook. using some head movement, trying to call them in. Like I said, I have to say this on all these videos, that when you're sparring, you have three different types of people, right? You got somebody that you can experiment with and someone that you can't. So here I'm trying to experiment something. So yes, I know that my hands are down. I'm aware if I make some mistakes here or there, I'm experimenting with some things here, using some head movement and such. Because you try to practice that with who you can, and then you'll see me sparring with Ernesto, and you'll see me maybe sparring a little differently, because he is a professional fighter, and you practice different things there. So, yeah, there you go. Next time you might see me um, using more combos, being more aggressive. In today's sparring day, I wasn't feeling that aggressive. I was using more footwork, trying to be back, look for counters and stuff, find my openings, trying to use feints. That one was kind of fast, if you didn't see it. Here I use some footwork, I parry his cross as I'm coming away, there I kind of try to pull him in kind of like to a feint, to a hook kick, I try to like use my forward to kind of like draw him into that, there I'm using my front hand pawing, take out the leg a little bit, tuck my chin, cover it up, try to call him in. On some legs, a couple low, then throwing one up high, an axe kick. Just like to mix it up, keep thinking. Throw a little tornado kick combo. And let's catch that one more time. And in case you guys didn't see it, this is how I hit him where it looked a little rough. It's just because he didn't catch it while I was coming back. Well, let's hope you guys like this. Check out my GoFundMe. Check everything else out. Dunk on the Highlander. Be bold. Peace.